Arapandaran, born and raised on the mysterious Wandering Isle. While many of your fellow Pandaren prefer a tranquil life, the lure of adventure burns in your blood. Recently, the Wandering Isle has begun erratically weaving about the world's oceans. The air grows cold, and your island home is spiraling toward disaster. As one of the most promising of students at Master Shang's monastery, you may just be the salvation for your people. But first, you must complete your training. Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. How are you all doing today? I've had a, a very interesting morning, which I'm not even going to go into. But what I've decided to bring you is part one of the Pandarian starting zone. And the reason why I've left this so late to, to put up is a couple of reasons. But the, the main reason is, whenever I've tried to film here prior, it's just been chock-a-block. It's been very difficult to complete certain quests and you know it's just been absolutely inundated full of peeps what blizzard have done now and thank you very much for doing so blizz is they've removed all the dead panda bodies from the ground because it was just covered or certainly in this area anyway just used to be covered in dead pandas people that have rolled a panda died not not been bothered to go back and, and res, you know, just left. Either left the beta or gone elsewhere. So it's nice now the beta's virtually dead because you can do stuff like this without any problem. And speaking of problems, this quest may be a problem. Didn't look very difficult. All I had to do was take a flame to a scroll. But when I did this back in the day, and when I say back in the day, I mean when, you know, lots of people on the beta and we're all wanted to have a little bit of a play with the pandas. We were queuing up for God knows how long to be able to do that quest. So I'm hoping Blizzard have removed because they did have a couple of quests like that as well in Pandaria itself, which Blizzard are now taken out completely. So fingers crossed that scroll will be there purely phased in on your screen. Yeah, let's get some auto loot going. Otherwise, it might cause a, a panda queue, a panda jam. Oh, panda jam. Mmm, jam. Right. <laughs> now, the good news about doing um, a starting zone leveling experience is I can't make any comments about Kill and Collect quest, uh, quests at all. It's, that is off the table. Because although I think the vast majority of people who are going to be here are you know, possibly rolling alts, uh, either starting from scratch or wanting monks, of course, which do start at level 1. They're not like uh, Death Knights. Don't start at you know, a high level and go from there. But it's a starting zone and it's also here for new players. So there could well be players which have either finished, you know, playing with the game for a multitude of years or are genuinely brand new to miss a Pandaria. And so they have to, to be weaned in to the questing experience. And because we know how many kill and collect quests they will be doing in the future, it's probably a very good idea to get plenty of practice in. But, but this quest is completely different because what I'm doing now is I'm protecting somebody as we've got these waves of little sprites coming in. And the bar that's filling at the bottom isn't the ads being killed and therefore filling up the bar. It's purely time. All you've got to do is just stand there, let the time go by, and then you'll complete that quest. But this one, this is an interesting situation because we're going into the village and we're meeting up with G Firepaw. <laughs> And I chuckle already because I don't know how many people here follow blue posts or just news in general about what goes on in WoW or necessarily the beta. But G Firepaw caused an almighty stink at the beginning of WoW. And certainly in Mr. Pandaria because this panda, if you're a guy and you went to that village there, no problem. You spoke to him. He's like, hi, you know, good to see you. We're going to get on great. Take care. If you were a female character, however, he turned very rapey. <laughs> I think it's the way that we could describe it. It'd be like, hi there, wink, wink, drool, lick lips. You and me are going to get on long time. Well, you know, wink, 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 nudge, nudge, rub himself here. It was really, really disturbing, to be quite frank. But I think Blizzard have 
have maybe tempered that a little bit. And if you're a female character and you speak to him now, I believe he only asked for a BJ round the back. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly joking. <laughs> right. So, a couple of interesting quests there. Yeah, picking up some nuts <laughs> or some roots or something. And then we summon that uh, elemental. And you just literally click on your quest item that you had by the obelisk. And it will summon him through. Now, I'll just phase that quickly because I started to run off in the wrong direction. <laughs> And most of the females here will know there's only one direction. Ah, yeah. Okay, I'll shut up. So we're going into a cave. Nice little element there. You have to dodge the uh, bits of fire which were sprouting out. There's some nice little... Um, I like it when platform elements are introduced into questing. It just gives it that, that little bit more fun. And then you've got to go one-on-one -on -one with this dude. And it's, it's a relatively long fight. I think you've got to hope... There are multiple people here. It's one of those ones where you actually do want lots of people. And he will get battered down a lot a lot more quickly. But you're not going to be taking any damage. Any damage that you take instantly heals back up after the next wave. And it's just you battering away, learning your combat skills. Which are two buttons so far. Three, if you introduce the sleep mechanism as well. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to make ourselves worthy to take the fire Pokemon from... <laughs> <laughs> from the building i said i said i wouldn't go into kill and collect quest. i didn't say i wouldn't be sarcastic <laughs> so here it is quite cool actually because it's given us um like a, a little rug and we had to fan the flames to to reignite the uh the flaming pokemon and i'm going to take it to that wonderful looking temple that absolutely gorgeous looking temple at the top of the stairs here and this is where I will end video part one. So I do hope you enjoyed. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of text. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash hill versus babyface. And I shall be back with part two very shortly. But I'm not exactly going to say when. Because I'm not too sure yet. So you take care everybody. Bye bye.